Hi, I'm Mike McCormick, live from GBTA Studios here in Mexico City, and I'm here with Anko Vanderwerf, the Chief Revenue Officer from Aero Mexico. Anko, thanks for coming and being a part of the studio no, thank here. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks for allowing us to uh, talk. Thank you. So interesting times. We were talking a few minutes before the yeah. interview and uh, about the business travel market, the kind of trends we're seeing. A little bit of just give me your perspective. What, how are you viewing the marketplace yeah, these days? Yeah, yeah. I think as, as we were saying earlier, I mean, I, if, if you look at it, if you're honest, things are good, right? right. Things, things really look good and, and they feel good. And if you look at it, and we were talking about this, right? Ten years ago, look where we were, the growth we've had, number of new destinations, the new fleet we brought in, right? right. 787s work like beautiful for us. Um, we've done a lot, digital transformation, everything. And it's just that there is this, hey, now what, right? right. What's what's happening now? And, and are people willing to commit? I think that's where we are. But if you look at the fundamentals, they're good. Yeah, that they are. And that the a lot of the political overtones, you know, both here in Mexico, in the U.S., yeah. Europe. I mean, there, there seems to be a lot of clearly a lot of activity there that creates this this increasing amount of uncertainty. I agree. But again, it's the hard part is the, the business uh, underpinnings of all this are yeah. still solid. Yeah, very much. I mean, yeah. if you look at fashion growth, I mean, look look at Mexico as a whole, right? right. Mexico as a, as a travel market. We've doubled number of passengers in the last 10 years, right? Yeah, Literally from 2010 to 2019, we've doubled from 50 yep. million passengers to 100 million passengers. Um, look at business markets that have grown. Look at the new destinations. Again, the fleet that we've added. Um, yeah, fundamentals are good. Now what? Now what? So. Looking at uh, specifically at Mexico and the kind of Latin American market, um, what are you seeing in terms of trends, forecasts? I mean, do, do you see demand holding holding strong, growing? What's the what, from a from a chief revenue officer yeah. perspective? How are you approaching? The market? Yeah, so so we, uh, we we've been very clear um, to the markets uh, to the investors this year, um, taking it a bit slower this year, right? A bit more prudent, right? Um, trying to be capacity disciplined about it. So almost zero percent growth. Um, you'll probably right. see very small growth, but really, really zero to one, let's say. Um, still a few new destinations. We're opening Cali this year, um, Guayaquil, uh, Barcelona, um, nice destinations, and Calgary's back on, the, back on the map. So there's definitely things that we're still doing. And I think the trends is, is very much, um, yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been happening for three, four years now here. It's a personalization, right? I mean, if you look at it, right. personalization, Digital, dig, digitalization, sorry, right. the technology, right, that we put in place, that's definitely driving another wave of, of engagement with, with consumers. Yeah, because historically, you know, an airline issue has always been, over, you know, too much capacity or yeah. expansion, but, you know, I think uh, at this point, you know, certainly for you and, and probably for the broader airline community, you guys have gotten awfully good at, at managing your capacity. Do yeah. You that's the case? Yeah, thanks. Uh, yeah, I, I, I do feel that's the case. I mean, if you look at it over the past few years, we've grown capacity consistently yep. every year, um, and at the same time, we're able to increase our load factors, right? So we're, right. we're filling our planes better, we've got unit revenue growth still, and on, that's on the back, of course, and, and even of, of further capacity growth. So I think we've been doing well, really. Um, but um, yeah, cost, of course, keeps on being an issue for airlines, right? We 70% we, of our cost is in dollars. Yep. Um, the peso has not been as strong as it was five years ago, uh, right? So we've, we've seen that, of course, eat out of our margins, but um, yeah, overall solid. So we've got a new administration here in government, uh, yep. you know, here in Mexico. Um, you know, certainly the, I know, or certainly for us in the U.S. too, there's been a, a big emphasis on trying to get money for infrastructure, yep. and, and uh, which is, you know, a key part of, you know, for all of us, right, Absolutely. for the industry. Um, any thoughts about where that's going to go in the next 12, 24 months here? Yeah, so, so the, the, the government, I think, has, has issued um, two decisions, right, policy um, changes yeah. from, the, from the previous government. Um, the new government has said there will be no new airports. So that's, of course, a massive decision that will, in a way, affect us all. Um, and that's a decision that's been taken, right, it's been broadly publicized and, 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 and well, spoken about. Uh, we all know that's, that's a fact now. But at the same time, what they've said is they will invest in the current infrastructure. So that actually helps, right? right. If you look at the current infrastructure, current, um, um, the biggest hub of, of Mexico, Mexico City Airport, also our biggest hub. Yeah, let's be fair, let's be frank about it, right? It, it, it could do with a bit of... Um, a, a refresh. Thank you. Yes. Right? Um, investments. Yes. And, that's, and that's at least what this new government has said they will do. We're working very closely together with them where that could be and should be right. in our view. So I think that is, that is definitely positive news there. 
Well, and, and you know, to bring it all back, I mean, when you look at the the overall, you know, just factors in the marketplace, you know, the, the number of passengers getting on airplanes over, you know, the next ten years is going to keep growing. Right? Yeah. So the yeah. the pressure on all the infrastructure is just going to continue. Continue. And, and governments have to make those investments. Yeah, right? I they agree. Yeah. We we just had about two three weeks ago, um, the head of IATA was here, chairman of IATA, right? Um, right? Alexander Mishuniak was here. We we spoke about, of course in the country with all airlines present with with airports present government was there as well and and really that's you're right i mean that's that's a pressure in a way that's not going to go away right? right if you look at mexico over the last few years we grew from 50 million to 100 million passengers a year that's not going to go down to 50 right it's right. going to it's going to keep on growing and, and we need to make sure that what those people see when they come to mexico is is a very good airport very well run and um, and and it is, it's almost a business card, right? When you get to the first airport, your, your point of entry into the country. Um, imagine a beautiful 787 taking you from wherever, and then of course, the infrastructure needs to match up to it. It does, right? Right. Oh. Great, great insights. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. And uh, you know, again, uh, you know, good luck with uh, the year ahead. Uh, thank you for Air Mexico. You too. Uh, so, Anko, thank you for joining us. I'm Mike McCormick, live from GBTA Studios here in Mexico City.